Let's start with the Olympics wrapped up yesterday, closing ceremonies. Was it a driving rainstorm? It looked uh, pretty pretty wet in Rio last evening. I did not see that. I didn't um, see. Ryan Lochte uh, said he 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 lacked candor. Mm. Um, if he were your son, and I, I used this analogy last hour, if if your son, if your teenage son, hell, if your 32-year-old son, Ryan Lochte's 32, if your 32-year-old son wrecked your car mm-hmm. and you asked for an explanation after he told you that the car was stolen from him, which turned out to be untrue, right, and that the thief wrecked it, when it turned out he wrecked it, and then you asked him to explain why he made up that story, and he said, I lacked candor. Mm. I over-exaggerated. Would yeah. that be, would you accept that? Would you look your son in the eye and say, okay, it's all good? Mm. Because that's what Ryan Lochte expects. Right. I lacked candor. I over-exaggerated. Mm. Basically, he came out with what I said last hour, is your stereotypical 21st century apology. That's yeah. not who I am. I take full responsibility. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Right. If your son had lied to you about something so important and he said to you, Mom, I take full responsibility. That's not who I am. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. And you said, but you wrecked my car. You owe me $5,000. <laughs> and he said, but Mom, I said... Let's move on. Mm. I take full responsibility. You right. said, but you're going to cost me five grand. Mom, yeah. mom, 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 mom. Let's move on. Mm. Or in the scheme of things, is this, as a lot of people have said, not that big a deal? Uh, you know, I still think, well, he did the right thing by apologizing. But but I, he said he lacked candor and over-exaggerated. Yeah. He apologized, but you see, the way to, in 21st century America, the way the media describes an apology and the way you and I grew up, our definition, much less your mother's or my father's definition of an apology, right. are two different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have time to tell the story. You know what an apology is? This is, do you want to tell the story again about your kid mopping the floor? I can, yeah. I this, don't have a problem. Okay. This is not what a 21st century apology is. This is what a real apology is, and this is what Ryan Lochte should do. Go ahead. This is uh, when my kid was 15 before he drove. Uh, my oldest son, just to distinguish, um, worked at the uh, YMCA there at Camp Forbing. He was one of the lifeguards. Well, he did something he shouldn't have done while he was on the job. And he went up to that little store, that convenience store at the Y, you know, where Ellerby Road splits right there where it makes a fork. Yes. Um, he went up to that little store and he did something he shouldn't have done. And the the folks at the Y called me and said, I need to come get him, you know, which I did. Oh, I he got caught. Yeah, he got caught. Okay. I needed to take him home. This was a Friday. So I came to get him. I found out what happened. Then I called the, the director of the YMCA at the time, Gary Lash, still the guy. And I said, look, my son, I, I, we need to come see you. Tell me where you're located. We'll come in the morning, first thing in the morning. He said, okay. And he, as he's told me before, he was like, oh, I was worried I was going to get, you know, you were going to gripe at me. and blah, blah. Why did we do this to your son? Blah, blah, blah. He wasn't, so, he so was the, he wasn't the bad guy. has noticed a change. Look, I have, we both have lots of friends who are teachers. Mm -hmm. And they'll all tell you, if, if you have been teaching school for more than 25 years. Right. Teachers will tell you, when I started and a kid got in trouble, parents sided with you. Mm -hmm. Now, if a kid gets in trouble, they side with the kid. Yes, absolutely. So I, I get up the next morning. I take my son over to Gary's house where he, I say, my my son has something to say to you. And he apologized. He said how he was so sorry he did what he did. And he, you know, harmed the reputation of the YMCA, blah, blah, blah. And he, and, he, and he gave him his, he threw himself on the mercy of the court. Would it be fair to say this was not your son's first instinct to do this as a 15-year-old that maybe his mother might have had some influence <laughs> in making him do this? Well, let's I, just say I dragged him by his ears. That's the point is I was that, Is that what you want to know? Okay, yeah. that was phase one. That was our first stop. Then our second stop was to the convenience store there on Ellery Road where I promptly went in with my son and I told him, you know, hey, this was one of the boys that was involved in the deal yesterday and he's here to do what you need him to do. 
to make amends and to pay for whatever was damaged or whatever he took. He said, okay, I got some things for him to do. He mopped the floor, I think he cleaned the toilet. I'm not sure. I left him there for a little while and came back and got him. And I watched him for a little while. But when I came back, he said, thank you for bringing him in. We really appreciate it. And the bad thing about it, Robert, was there were probably two or three other boys involved in this little mischievous activity. And both gentlemen, I think, I haven't asked Gary lately, I think this was the only kid that they saw, you know, that came and said, I'm sorry, and, and I am apologize, I shouldn't have done this, this is not me. The point I'm making, ah, the point I'm making mm -hmm. is that's an apology. Yeah. That's an apology. Mm -hmm. Saying, I mischaracterized. I lacked candor, saying, that's not who I am. Right. I take full responsibility, but let's move on. Mm -hmm. But see, in media today, how they describe, how they define an apology is totally different from the way Aaron McCarty, mom, seven, eight, ten years ago. Yep. Or your mother or my father, mm -hmm. 40, 50, 60 years ago. Right. Would describe, would define an apology. Oh, absolutely.